What is up, Interceptor Squad? Welcome back to another video. Um, as you guys can see by the title, I'm um, gonna do a little bit of snow driving with the Taurus. You can see now all the snow is gone. We had uh, two and a half inches or something of snow, not really all that much, and then uh, uh, it rained like I think eight hours later and all the snow is gone. Well, we got a couple chunks left here and there, but anyway, I recorded everything with my car's dash cam because I was actually on my way to work, so the quality might not be the best, um, but I hope you guys, it's just more to more or less just so you guys get an idea of how these cars handle in the snow. I also want to say as well, I've been posting, uh, well, I did post a gaming video up on my channel uh, a couple days ago, depending on when this video goes up. Um, I'm going to start posting a lot more gaming videos on my channel, uh, mainly for the reason when I can't come out and film a video, you know, about my car because of, you know, living in New England, you know, one day it'll be nice, one day it'll be rain, you know, snow for a week. So the weather is very bipolar here, so it's very hard to get out and make a video um, in this, you know, condition, in these weather conditions. It'll be something for you guys to watch. It's something different, yes, but I think it's something you guys will enjoy. The video that I did post did pretty well, um, and you guys really seem to enjoy it, so I'm going to keep doing that. So you guys might see gaming videos um, come up a lot more often on my channel. Right, I'm going to stop talking. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Basically, I just talk about how the Taurus handles in the snow, and like I already said, it's a beast in the snow. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. it is to drive in the snow with the uh, the interceptor sedan or the Taurus and how it does and all that as you guys may or may not be able to tell the, the roads are pretty bad right now uh, it does not look like they plowed it at all it's definitely got a nice thick uh, layer of snow on there we didn't get too too much snow but you could definitely feel it's a little slippery but um, right now we're going about 27 I've been going around 27 30 miles per hour um, and the Taurus handles very well I've said it before um, it handles very very well in the snow it doesn't hesitate um, just like any car, you know, I know some people out there that, you know, they got these big bad trucks and stuff, but it doesn't matter what car you have. It's, you know, you still got to be careful when you're driving in the snow. It doesn't mean, you know, because you have a four wheel drive truck or this and that, that, you know, it, it can't spin out. When I got stuck in my Crown Fit, uh, someone in a Jeep came flying around the corner and he spun out. Um, but yeah, it was, it's, it's, but overall, the Taurus handles very, very well. It, it, it grips good. It's not like the Crown Vic where, you know, even going up this hill right here, I would probably have some issues with the Crown Vic going up this hill. We're going 30 miles per hour up this hill right now, no problem. If I was in my Crown Vic, you know, I would have to definitely go a lot slower and just kind of play with the gas and, you know, inch up that hill. Um, but with the Taurus, it just plows right through. But yeah, absolutely, it handles absolutely well. It does have stability control as well, so, um, which is really, you know, a huge plus. When you stop and you take off as well, uh, Taurus, again, doesn't hesitate at all to, you know, take off. There's no spin, no wheel spin, nothing. No, I, that, I love it. It's absolutely, I mean, it's such a big difference coming from the Crown Vic. Um, and if you guys have a Crown Vic and, you know, you live in an area where there is snow, then you guys know what I'm talking about. If you, you know, you come to a stop and then you give gas to the Crown Vic, sometimes, you know, it'll, it'll fishtail, it'll spin its tires in the rear, uh, it being a rear wheel drive vehicle. And, um... You know, it's just awesome with the Taurus. I can come to a complete stop and just give gas. I don't have to worry about fish tailing or the car spinning or hesitating. It's just, it's awesome. Absolutely love it. Especially going up hills and stuff. You know, there's a lot of hills where I am. Uh, you know, not really big hills, but even when, my, when I had my Crown Vic, you know, that was sometimes an issue for me. I'd always have to go around it or something or the Crown Vic barely made it up the hill. So with this thing, it's a monster. I'm going, you know, like I said, again, averaging 27, 30 miles per hour and it's just plowing through the snow. Like that guy right there is plowing the sidewalk. <laughs> I mean, there are areas where you'll kind of feel it kind of just ever so slightly kind of slide a little bit, but the car kind of stabilizes itself. Very, 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 very good all-wheel drive system. It's very sloshy over here. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell it, but I'm definitely going to have to, uh, Give the Taurus a bath after the snow passes. All this salt and stuff is not good for the undercarriage. One of the things that I have to mention as well, um, you know, and again, I have to refer to the Crown Vic here because, you know, me coming from Crown Vic and then before that Mercury Grand Marquis, all I really drove was, you know, rear wheel drive V8s, uh, you know, the Panther platform. And 
The one thing I can tell you is, you know, when you hit a patch of snow or something, or you give just a little bit of gas, um, you know, you guys really won't be able to tell here, but there's a good, you know, sheet of snow on the, uh, on the, on the street right now. If I were to give, you know, a little bit of gas with the Vic, you know, the whole rear end would just fishtail, and you'd start to feel it. With this, I can give a little bit of gas, and I don't have to worry about the, you know, the rear end fishtailing at all. It's just, it's so stable. And I know some of you guys said that you really never had issues driving in the snow with your Crown Vic, but me personally, I've always, not always, always had issues, but there's been times, like I said, again, I've gotten stuck. I couldn't even leave my own driveway when we had a giant blizzard a couple years back. I couldn't even leave my driveway because there's so much snow. My Crown Vic was just spinning out. I couldn't get out of the driveway, so I couldn't even go to work that day or anything. So that, uh, that RAV4 that was just in front of me right there, just spinning its tires, you could smell the rubber. You guys probably won't be able to pick it up too well on the dash cam, but he was spinning. He was having an issue just going through that. And the Taurus, as you guys just seen, no hesitation at all, right through it.